Using a gun properly requires a skill, but as Matt Metcalf explains from the vault, some see that skill as an art. Do you remember the names Wild Bill Hickok or Annie Oakley? They were legendary sharpshooters. They had some modern day competition though, right here in central Illinois, as Steve Trainer shows us from PM Magazine, From the Vault, 1984. Meet matchless Mike Blackburn, a 20th century sharpshooter from Salem, Illinois. Mike has a special talent, and tonight he's going to show it to you. How did he become interested in trick shooting? Way back when I had a BB gun shooting in the backyard, I just uh, would shoot one shot until I got tired of hitting it every time, and I'd move on to something a little harder. Hard is hardly the word for it. Not only can Mike shoot well with two hands, but he can also use one. And when he shoots at aerial targets, there's no time to use a sight. Mike usually uses a 22 caliber Winchester. And in a week's time of practicing new stunts and perfecting the old ones, Mike can use between two and 4,000 rounds of ammo. Now, are you telling me you're going to hit that quarter in midair? I sure am. I'm going to flip it into there and put a hole right in the middle of it. Sure. Let's see it. All right, here we go. Great shooting, but a waste of good money. <laughs> About everything that I've attempted, I've done it within the day that I tried it. But to perfect it where I would feel comfortable doing it in front of uh, people, just depends probably two weeks every night, shooting mainly at that shot. And it's a good thing he does practice. Mike found most of his trick ideas in books about Annie Oakley. One of her most famous tricks is splitting a playing card in half at 30 paces. Just like Annie Oakley used to do it. Mike was nine years old when his two uncles taught him safety with weapons comes first. It has taken many years for Mike to refine these stunts, and that patience and hard work has made him one of the best marksmen in the country which is evident when you watch him perform. This is what I call a Pepsi challenge. Let's look at that again a little closer. Now, Mike told Steve he always tries to find a safe place to shoot because a 22 caliber bullet can travel once it's fired over a mile. Safety first, super shooting always. From the vault, I'm Matt Metcalf. Thanks so much, Matt Metcalf. You can tune in each Sunday morning at 9 to watch this week's episode from the vault. And check out more vault stories at WCIA.com. We'll be back.